Watch as Kate Middleton suffers a rare awkward moment as she reaches out to shake hands with Muslim community leader, who offers a polite traditional greeting instead. She's the master of navigating every situation with aplomb, but the Princess of Wales suffered a rare awkward moment today while greeting a Muslim community leader. Kate, 41, joined Prince William, 40, to visit Hayes Muslim Centre in London to hear about community efforts to raise funds for those affected by the recent earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. The awkward moment occurred as the Prince and Princess were introduced to a number of leaders on arriving at the centre, including Iman Sufyan Iqbal. Prince William shook hands with each of the leaders in turn, and one of the gentlemen also reached out to shake hands with the Princess. However, Kate then reached out to shake hands with Iman Sufyan, who pressed his hand to his heart instead and bowed his head. The princess quickly withdrew her hand, and mirrored his gestures by bowing her own head and smiling as she greeted him. Placing a hand on the heart with a nod or slight bow is considered a polite way for a man to greet a woman in some Muslim traditions. According to some codes of conduct, a man and a woman won't shake hands unless the woman extends her hand out first and the man is willing to reciprocate the gesture. Others describe the idea of making physical contact with a female who isn't his wife or a very close relative as haram, the Arabic word for a sin. A similar situation recently arose for Queen Letizia of Spain, while welcoming the Iranian ambassador to the royal palace in Madrid. He was seen shaking hands with her husband King Felipe but instead bowed his head to the queen and placed two hands over his heart. Kate opted to recycle an Alexander McQueen black pleated dress, which she first wore to meet with well-wishers in Sandringham after the queen's death, for the outing. As a mark of respect the couple removed their shoes and Kate covered her head with a scarf, a black and white veil by Pakistani brand Alon, which is part of a set worn by the mother of three when she visited the country in 2019. During today's engagement, the couple met with representatives from the center who, through bucket collections and other donations after prayers, have raised over £25,000 for the Turkey-Syria earthquake appeal. The prince and princess also joined two pupils from Waldegrave School, Dila Kaya, 14, Lena Alkutubai, 15, and their teacher Natasha Rostam to help make an origami crane a symbol of hope and healing during challenging times. Today, the couple heard harrowing stories with aid workers who have recently returned from the crisis zone in Turkey and described desperate scenes of rescuers trying to free trapped people with just hammers. Kate said, It's sad that there's a need to do funding, it's amazing there are communities like this here raising, funds. Salah Abulgisim, from Islamic Relief's emergency response team said, I arrived in Turkey to the worst scenes of destruction I've ever witnessed. I met with so many families whose lives were destroyed in an instant. From the onset of the disaster, Islamic relief teams were on the ground providing instant support, including cash vouchers which are crucial in enabling families to make basic purchases, with dignity. Other aid workers who met with the Prince and Princess of Wales included Dan Stewart from Save the Children, recently returned from Hite in Turkey, plus aid experts Alison McNulty, Operations Director from Action Against Hunger, Mazen al Husseini, from Help Age, the local partner of DEC member charity Age International, and Inma Lopez de la Cova Pena from the British Red Cross. Together they discussed with the couple the impact of the disaster on vulnerable groups such as children and older people and the importance of the incoming aid that is being provided including shelter, food and vital trauma care. Finally, the couple met with other communities who have made considerable efforts to fundraise as part of the appeal. This included the Turkish Women's Association, an organization based in Richmond, who partnered with a number of Richmond schools to raise more than £10,000 for the appeal with an event at St. Stephen's Church Primary School at the end of February. Stalls included Turkish coffee, homemade bakes and origami crane making run by pupils from Waldebridge School, which is a symbol of hope and healing during challenging times. Dr. Ye Lizatik, one of the organizers from the Turkish families in Richmond said, when we heard about the devastating earthquake, we felt compelled to assist those affected. We started to collect aid to dispatch to Turkey via trucks and planes, 
but logistical challenges and the earthquake zone forced us to discontinue sending goods. One of our team, Folia Sensu, inspired us by saying if you can't send it, you can sell it, which motivated us to involve the local community, schools, and businesses and fundraise. With DEX collaboration, we have been able to reach and provide aid to those impacted by the earthquake in Turkey I and Syria and we plan to hold more fundraising events in Richmond in the future. You, you're I need. You, you're all I see when I close my eyes and dream. You're all I see. You, you're all I need, all I need, all I need. You, you're all I need. You're all I see when I close my eyes and dream. You're all I see. You, you're all I need, all I need, all I need. Let me tell you what you need to hear. Cause I need you close, I need you near. Let me tell you what you need to hear. Cause I need you close, I need you near. You're all I see when I close my eyes and dream. You're all I see. You, you're all I need, all I need, all I need. Let me tell you what you need to hear. Cause I need you close, I need you near. Let me tell you what you need to hear. Cause I need you close, I need you near. See?